Frederick Wilhelmsen's preface to Man's Knowledge of Reality is quite short, just three pages. We should keep in mind that this book was published in 1956. In the recent past, he says, epistemology was taught early in a course of studies as criteriology with strongly Cartesian presuppositions. Its goal was to bring the student to secure knowledge that he has a body and can know the external world. Fortunately, Wilhelmsen says, this approach to epistemology is declining, in part due to the work of Etienne Gilson. The resurgence of Thomism in recent decades, the 30s through the 50s, contains one key insight, that philosophy must begin with the concrete sensible grasped in judgment. This cannot be arrived at later, as in criteriology, but must be present at the beginning of our inquiry. This book will be a preliminary essay towards a full Thomistic theory of knowledge, centered on a Thomistic theory of judgment. It will presume some prior acquaintance with Thomistic metaphysics and psychology, or philosophical anthropology. The book is divided into three sections. Chapters 1 through 7 give Thomistic reasons for rejecting the modern Cartesian critical problem. Chapters 8 through 14 articulate a Thomistic theory of judgment and chapter 15 is an introduction to the epistemology of the speculative sciences. That's my quick overview of the preface of Frederick Wilhelmsen's book, Man's Knowledge of Reality. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.